around the whole world In my hands, in my team By my side with the whole What's up guys, Wildland H2 here with another video, and uh, for this raid that I got, I got 1,038,390 in resources, and this was pretty freaking exciting because I have not gotten a 1 mil raid since like Town Hall 8. So uh, when I saw this, ba well, I've seen a lot of 1 mil bases, 1 mil plus bases uh, up in Champions League and high up there, you know, just because hella people have loot up there, but I haven't raided, like got a 1 mil raid since Town Hall 8, so finding this base, I was like, <laughs> And then uh, when I raided it and actually got the one mil, I was like, holy shit. And, uh, you know, I lost this raid. I'll, uh, spoiler alert, I will give it out. I did lose. And uh, that's okay because I got a million resources. So, honestly, I can give a shit less if I lose. Dude, that's a million. So, uh, basically, I was just using standard barbs and archers. And, uh, yes, my barbs and archers were level 5 in this video. Right now, I've got level 6 barbarians and my archers are upgraded to level 6. And, yes, I did make champion with level 5 barbs and archers. For some reason, I get that question a lot. People like look at my trophy record and then look at my farming trips. They're like, "Whoa, how did you get champ?" It's like, "Cause I uh, didn't upgrade archers or barbarians. Cause you know you don't really need them up in champion." But I guess you know usually usual people will upgrade barbarians and archers first and then do uh, trophy pushing troops. But um, I said fuck dot and I uh, upgraded my trophy pushing troops first because that's just how I do. And um, so yeah, basically what I'm doing for this and this is just you know, standard, just how I farm. I'll put Barbarians in front and then Archers behind. Barbarians are to tank and then the Archers are to, uh, to shoot and take all the loots. So basically I just, you know, wherever I saw the loot, wherever the loot was, I put in troops and then I used my Clan Castle down. I could have used that in a better spot, but uh, it's alright because then I just used minions. And again, with these minions, I don't know what the hell happened. I had 10. Usually 10 minions are good enough to take out two to three buildings, but like, for some reason, they took out like they didn't even take it all out I don't know why and uh oh because they went to the cannon never mind I see why if those minions would have gone left I probably would have got that too and I just dropped a lightning spell and that ended the raid my first one mil raid since town hall 8 uh was pretty exciting stuff there's actually a lot of really big raids in this video so I hope you guys enjoy so that was a huge raid uh I only lost 28 well not only I lost 28 but I'm farming so it doesn't really matter and uh, if you guys wonder, I farm in the 2,000 to 2,100 range. So this is Andy DeHaul, and he got 1,061,534 in resources. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I'll try that again. Andy DeHaul. Ha. Ha. I don't know. I don't even... I'm bad at pronouncing names. Uh, some of you guys might know that from previous best raids. Uh, Diaz, actually, I pronounced his name wrong. He was giving me shit in chat. That was actually pretty funny, but... uh. So he got, this is another one mil raid, uh, and I, you know, as I said before, this is a pretty big loot raid, or a pretty big loot video, so uh, definitely smack that like button if you guys haven't already, and um, actually, you know what, if you don't want to hit the like button, don't hit it, I don't even know why I'm asking this, honestly. Uh, I mean, just don't hit the D, D like dislike button, I've been getting some dislikes on my videos, because, you know, haters be hating, and potatoes be potating, and I don't get it, so uh, actually, and the previous video before this, it was an app bounty video, because uh, I did get sponsored by them. And uh, I've already gotten like a couple dislikes, so uh, apparently you guys don't like App Bounty, or you know, you guys don't, uh, I don't know what happened. I guess some people just have something against App Bounty, you know? And I got some tweets saying, you know, oh, App Bounty is a scam, it doesn't work. Uh, it's not a scam, I mean, you know, and it kind of works, so I don't, I don't get it why people would be saying it's a scam. Actually, I have used, I didn't use App Bounty, but I used some other application that was uh, a free gems app, and it didn't work, actually. Uh, I got enough for, uh, I got enough points to get an iTunes card, and then I tried to get the iTunes card, and it turned out that uh, I couldn't get the iTunes card, and I got kind of pissed off. So that's why I kind of never really got into App Bounty until now, uh, just because, you know, I, I just that experience kind of ruined it for me. You know, I didn't really believe in free gems after that. But, uh, you know, now App Bounty, App Bounty, they're sweet. If you guys haven't checked out my old video on, uh, on App Bounty, I suggest you guys go check it out to get some free stuff. And, uh, yeah, that link will, uh, be in the description or on the video. I can't find out how to, like, because, you know, like, in the video, it says, like, you know, this YouTuber suggests you watch this video. Well, I can't find out how to make that. So, uh, until I find that out, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, it should be in the video, but I'm with Hot and I can't figure it out. But that's okay. So, uh, and with this raid, basically what he did is that he just put giants in and then he put some wall breakers and he had some goblins to back it up and archers to swoop in and get the loot, and he had some barbarians too. So, uh, I see, you know, I see a lot of people bar uh, farming, farming with um, archers and barbarians and uh, giants. Actually, giants a lot. I see a lot of people farming with giants. 
And, um, you know, I guess it works really well, which is, you know, evidenced by this one mil raid. But, uh, I don't know, I personally, I don't use giants at all. So, bam, one mil raid, he got five trophies for that, 75%, so he just wrecked that base. So, good job to Andy. Uh, that was an awesome raid. Now, this last raid is the biggest raid I've had in any of my videos, and this raid, uh, went down in my brother's old clan. I don't know, he was in this clan, and, uh, this guy shared this raid, and it was like 1.6 mil in loot, so... Uh, this was a crazy raid, and he did it with Hogs. You know, this is proving that Hogs, even though they may have gotten nerfed, even though, you know, Inferno Towers are OP, uh, they're still good. And, you know, in this in this base, the one Inferno Tower was out, and the other, like, went out, like, the moment the Hogs got within range. So he did get lucky with this one, and, uh, you know, 1.6 is a crap ton of loot. So, uh, yeah. And actually got, you know, 5,000 Dark Elixir. That's also a ton of loot, because this strategy, like, 30 level 5 Hogs, costs like over 1,000 to make, or maybe it's like around 2,000 to make. So it's an expensive army uh, using like, you know, over 30 hogs. So, you know, getting, especially getting like 5,000 Dark Elixir, that's awesome, because I, uh, when I raided with hogs back at Town Hall 8, it costed less than 1,000, and uh, the amount of loot I was getting per raid was insane, so I would be maxed out on Dark Elixir. And, uh, so it wouldn't really be an issue, but now, uh, you know, level 5 hogs are more expensive, you know, 30 hogs instead of 20, that's also more expensive, so it's a lot more expensive to use hogs, uh, for me now, which is why I stick with Belinians. But, um, <coughs> as you can see, the hogs just wreck this base, no problem, because they're level 5 and hogs are still OP, and, um, they just, you know, they tear it up, and, you know, this base layout was hella weird, too, I mean, it was like a, uh, Never Eat Sog, a Western te Teaser, yes, and I just did the Never Eat Soggy Waffles, fucking judge me. Uh, it was a western teaser, so, but, like, I guess he didn't complete it, and, like, there was some hieroglyph shit in the top right, and the top left was just totally empty. I don't even know what this guy was going for in this base, but, uh, it didn't work. Whatever he was trying to do, it did not work. And, uh, Andy, or Andy, uh, Ant, Antor, Antor, Antor smacked the beast, and, uh, got 1.6 mil. And I will have, I've been, I've been, I don't even know if I've been promising this, but I've been meaning to record some defenses, because a lot of people ask about my base, if it works or not, and yes, it does. I actually had three awesome defenses of people using, uh, like, a th over 30 level 5 hogs, and not getting a drop of loot, and I, uh, I neglected to record those, and they're now gone. So I was really pissed off when that happened. But, uh, I did get rated by hogs, I think it was last night, so I got that replay, he only got, uh, he, like, made out with, like, less than 200k each, and no Dark Elixir, so... Uh, I have like an anti-hog base, and I suggest using anti-hog bases for Town Hall 9, just because that's the only way to defend against hogs. Town Hall 10 has Inferno Towers, Town Hall 9 you got nothing, uh, except for the anti-hog bases. So this is the end of the video guys, uh, 1.6 mil, again that was crazy. If you guys liked the video, like it, and hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 1500 subscribers, that's awesome. So thanks for all the support guys, and I love you, peace. I'm passing notes to all the pretty girls in class still They never reply, but never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill gets better in time Fresher than ever and I am who I am No taking it back, I'm alive and well, well What it do, my name is unimportant But what I say is quite amazing I hope you enjoy it